Hello, everybody. CW here. I got some new molds. <laughs> Midway had a sale. Roger told you all about them. I'm sorry. Walter told you all about them. I told Roger. And uh, I picked up two. And I'm kind of kind of thinking I should have bought one more of these. But I see them on, on eBay for about 35 bucks, 34 bucks. So I may just grab it there because that's, that's a pretty good price too. And uh, the one that I should have got is the one that Walter got, that 140 grain 358 semi wad cutter. Um, I don't have it. I've got the 366 version and this is the 105 version. So uh, I got those. And uh, this one here is a wild card. This one here we'll talk about in a minute. And I got two more that are cleaning, and soaking and getting prepped for use. Those are some oldies, and I'll show you those in a separate video because they're pretty cool. Um, again, brand new from Lee. I got them off of Midway. And this one here is a double cavity mold, 476-400RF. It's a plain based, round flat, 400 grain bullet for the 480 Ruger. Pretty nice looking bullet. These molds did not have any stickers on them. I have taken them out of the box, but I haven't opened them or done anything with them. I want to uh, prep them. So I'm uh, going to be real careful with these. I don't want to scratch them up before I can prep them and see what I got. So pretty good looking mold. Um, again, 476, 400. And this is an LH. This is left-handed thread. What a big bullet, huh? Good looking bullet. Big cavities. I had one of these big bores before in a 500, 440 grain 500. And a couple of guys have, have uh, contacted me and asked me what a good mold would be for the 500 Smith & Wesson from Lee. And uh, that's what I recommend is the 440 grain Lee um, mold. It's it, it worked really, really well for me. And, uh, you know, Lee molds, you say what you want, but they work. And uh, they may not be up to the quality standards of others. They may not be made by the greatest materials or as good of materials as others. You, you can pick them apart. But the bottom line is they work. They may not work last as long as the other molds, but they're fine. Um, and they save you some money. So if you're just getting into it, you want to try something, um, nothing wrong with the Lees. So this one here is one I do not have a gun for. Um, I grabbed it because of the price. This was stupid cheap. And it's the 480 is something that I've always thought I wanted. So now I've got a mold. Stupid me just sent an order out to NOE, and I did not grab sizers for this. So I'll have to place another order down the road. Um, but no rush. I don't have a gun to shoot in anyway. So we'll prep these up and, uh, and get some casting done with them at another time. For now, we'll just set them aside because this was too cheap not to get it. This one here is the 358-150 SWC, six cavity, 105 grain. So this one here I want for the 380. I don't do nine millimeter. I do do 38 super, but it's kind of light, but I'll probably try it. But primarily this is for the, the 380 for me. And again, no, no sticker, no inspection sticker. So Shirley is, uh, Shirley is slacking or not there or they fired her or who knows what. But 358105. And I don't really want to open this because I don't know how bad it is. So let's just really easily open it and see if I can pull this block off without. There we go. And there's our cavities. So it's a good looking bullet. Kind of a pointy nose. It's got a tiny little meat plat, which is not really for me. But this is not going to be anything but a shooting bullet. And uh, a pointier profile, probably going to make it feed a little better. So my buddy Tommy Boy picked this mold up, and he's the one that pointed me out that they had this one on sale. So uh, thanks, Tommy Boy. I'll, uh, I'll be doing the same as you, and that's shooting in a 380. So I'm going to get these fully prepped because I, I guarantee you there's some burrs on here. And uh, matter of fact, I'm not even going to close it up. I just want to make a quick video to show you these. So we got that done. And this one here, this one here is a borrowed mold. 
my handles, but a borrowed mold from Ricky Baird. I went to see him today. We had a really good time. I'm going to have a couple videos coming out with some range time with him. And he showed me a whole bunch of molds that he bought from a from a guy that was getting out of casting. He was too old to do it, and he just sold everything. And a uh, um, whole bunch of 7mm molds. So if anybody's looking for 7mm molds, uh, get a hold of Ricky or get a hold of me, and I'll put you in touch with Ricky. Um, because he's got a whole bunch of really, really good molds. Uh, good quality stuff. RCBS, Seiko. Um, really, really nice molds. Good quality. Two cavity steel molds. Anyway, this one is one that I've wanted for a while. This one is one, I believe it's this one, but it might be the 130. Now that I'm thinking about this, and I'm thinking about Tin Man, he sent me a bunch of these. And I'm, I'm now that I've said it out loud, I think he has the 3130, the 762 mold. This is a 3115 SP. I think this is the 30 carbine mold. Anyway, it's one that I've wanted, I've watched, and it always goes for more money than I'm willing to spend on, on eBay. You can get it brand new, but it's even more money. So Ricky lent this to me, and I'm going to cast a whole bunch with this and then get it back to him. And uh, hopefully, with my prodding, we're going to see a, a couple of Ricky Baird videos because uh, he's got a couple things that he showed me today that would make really great uh, starter videos for him. Easy to do, quick, short, um, and something that should draw some views. Uh, I don't know how many viewers he has, um, but it should draw some views and we can spread it around in our channels, promoting it for him to get people over to see him. Um, he's gonna be doing reloading and casting and shooting videos, same stuff as everybody else, uh, just his perspective on it. So that's it. That's what I got to share with you. Again, no casting here. So uh, eBay sensors, this is uh, this is just steel parts. They're not. I'm not assembling anything. I'm not building anything. I'm not casting lead. There's nothing here that's going to be offensive to anyone. So no reason to, uh, to censor this video. God bless everybody. Hope you're having a great day. CW out. <laughs>